Today we're taking a look at the ProLogic series and a function called duress code. A duress code is a code that can be used in order to signal that help is required. Why would we use this? For instance, in the case where a, uh, a, an employee of your store or your facility has access to the safe and they're being held at gunpoint, for instance, and asked to enter the, the uh, combination to open the safe. Um, we want the safe to open so they can enter a combination that is one number higher or one number lower than their valid code. They would do that as normal. The safe would open, but because it is a duress code, it's one number higher or lower than their valid code, the system knows to send a signal, a silent signal, to the alarm panel to uh, let someone at the alarm station know that you need help. So here's how we do that. We have a ProLogic uh, entry pad. The ProLogic uh, L22 is the uh, beginning model that has this feature, also up to ProLogic L69. We have a lock. This lock is on your safe. The two would normally be connected together. However, in the, in the situation where you need to alert someone for duress management, we add a duress module, and that is this device here. This device has a number of ports and openings on it, and I'll explain what those are. This is the input port. It's marked as endpoint on the top, and it is to connect the entry pad into this location. On the back side, you can see that there are a number of ports here. Uh, this is for lock number one, lock number two, lock number three, and lock number four, and it's marked on the top. Um, this will allow you to control multiple locks in, uh, with one entry pad. On this side, we see that there are a number of green ports. This port, it, which is marked as port number three, is the duress management port. It will connect to your alarm panel with a normally open, normally closed switch. And you simply use the supplied connector to snap into this port, then you wire your connection to your alarm panel into this port. And that will be the communication link to send um, information to the alarm panel. We have a couple of other ports, I'll just explain them briefly. Uh, port number two here uh, allows you to monitor um, penalty time. So if someone is trying to guess the combination of your safe, you can connect that to an alarm panel as well, an alert in that case. And then finally you have uh, port number one, which monitors the, uh, the door of the safe. If the door of the safe is open over a specified period of time, it can either send in a, a message to an alarm station, or we can use a device like this, which is a, uh, a buzzer, and essentially, if the door is left open too long at the safe location, a buzzer would, uh, would sound, uh, notifying them to close the door. But what we're concerned about today is this port, which is the duress port. So I'll show you how this connects, and I'll give you an example of how this would operate. So the first thing I would want to do is connect the lock. I'm gonna connect that to the port lock number one. Then I'm going to take the entry pad and I'm going to connect it to the input port, which I see here. And now I would take this port, port number three, and connect it to my alarm panel with a normally open, normally closed switch. Now what happens is I enter my combination. My combination here is uh, six threes. So in this case, I am being held up. I enter the code three, 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 two. You'll see the lock opens, and you'll see the light flashing on that port. What that's done is sent a signal through to the alarm panel so that uh, you can notify uh, that you're under duress and uh, hopefully help is on its way. So that's how the duress function works with a uh, ProLogic series uh, entry pad. If you wanted to uh, uh, monitor the door opening, you could use port number one. I'll just show you that uh, quickly so that you can get the idea of it. But essentially, you'd plug in a uh, monitor switch here. These two loops that you see are contacts for doors. So door number one, um, or I could have door number two, I can monitor the length of time the door is open using these two switches. So um, I can also do another thing, which is I can monitor the door to see if the door of the safe is open or closed. I can also monitor the bolt work of the safe to see if the handle has been engaged and therefore the safe is locked. But in this case, what we're going to do is show you a door contact. So we can uh, monitor this door contact and this buzzer is going to sound if I leave the door open too long. So I'll enter my code. Okay, the door remains open. The lock is open. I'll disconnect this. 
which tells me that uh, if the door is open or closed. You'll see that light flashing there because it's indicating that the, uh, the sensor is in its open status. After one minute, it is going to uh, sound the alarm. And you'll see on the entry pad, uh, it'll pop up every uh, 15 seconds or so to say that the door is still open. All right, so when it finally reaches uh, uh, one minute, this alarm will sound and that would be an indication to your staff locally at the store to close the door. So there you see the alarm sounds. Once the door is closed, the alarm will stop. Once the door is closed, I've put in a closed loop here indicating that the door is now closed. The alarm system, uh, the buzzer system stops. So that's uh, the duress module, allows you to connect multiple locks, allows you to have uh, outputs going to your alarm panel, to your uh, uh, monitoring penalty time, as well as monitoring um, door open time. And then you have two contacts here that allow you to monitor door and bolt work, for instance, or multiple doors. That is the duress module with the ProLogic series.